If you're thinking about building a notification system in your Bubble app, there are four different approaches that you can take here. Not every approach is gonna make the most sense for your app. So here are the pros and cons of in-app, email, SMS, and push notifications. In-app notifications are a great way of keeping everything under one roof. It's usually helpful for user retention because it enforces your users to come back to the app to check for updates or new activity. It's a system that doesn't require any integrations because all you need is to leverage your own database and your app designs. But this can take more time to set up compared to some of our other approaches because it is up to you to create all of the logic around it and the design in the canvas. If you end up building out a full-blown inbox system, that's a lot more time spent on this. So be mindful of how comprehensive you want this notification system to be. But this is a great option that's not going to cost you anything extra, doesn't require any third-party dependencies, and again, it keeps your users coming back to the app. Email notifications are great because they're universal. Everyone's got an email address, and this is very easy to set up. Bubble's got email capabilities right out of the box from the editor. If you want to connect to a different service provider, you certainly can to get more customized with it, but it doesn't take a long time to create an email that gets sent in a personalized way to your users, triggered by whatever activity or event they need to be notified about. The email content can all be completely dynamic. So again, it's a great, easy setup that's universal. The negative about email notifications is that it does take your user out of the app. It also forces them to have to check their email for these new notifications. If they have busy inboxes, the notifications could easily get lost there. So be mindful of who your audience is to understand whether email notifications make sense or not for your app. SMS notifications are fantastic for getting the user's attention really directly, especially if your user is on the go. Again, this is an area where you need to know your audience. Not every application is really going to make sense to offer SMS notifications, but it is a really direct way of getting your user's attention. The negative for SMS notifications is it is going to be one of the more involved integrations to set up. You do have to work with a third party to actually send out the text message. This isn't a built-in capability that Bubble has, so that's going to be an extra cost on your part. And it is a little bit more involved to craft together the logic, depending on how you want to do the notification, especially if you want your users to be able to reply to that notification. Again, that could add some more complexity to that logic. It's all absolutely doable. And we've had clients that have created really sophisticated SMS notification systems that are highly interactive, but it's just depending on what your app is doing and what your users need out of that notification. Push notifications for your Bubble web app are one of the most convenient and effective methods of notifying users of any updates. With push notifications, you can either send them to multiple users kind of as a general message or targeted messages that are personalized to specific individuals. Now, this is something that is really effective because it's very common. Lots of apps out there use push notifications. It's something that people are comfortable with and are already used to. It also doesn't require them to have to um, give out their phone number or to have to check their email address. Now, the negative with push notifications is that it does involve a little bit more to get it set up. This is not a capability that Bubble offers in the editor just out of the box, so you have to rely on a third party for this. You can either convert your web app to a progressive web app or a PWA, so a third party can help you with this. You'll add some code to your application to get these features, um, and that will enable you to have push notifications with a little bit of setup. Uh, or you can wrap your application. So wrapping your app is uh, a system for you to get your app into the app stores. It basically converts it into a format. You get all the files that you need to deliver to the iOS or Google Play Store. And wrapping typically offers the ability to do push notifications. Either way, you still need to integrate um, items into your application so that you can get that capability. But if you are going to do that, you have a really fantastic option for notifying your users of any updates.